normally the bacteria respond to antibiotics and the job of the antibiotics is to kill the bacteria. But over a period of time, the bacteria get clever and they develop certain mechanisms to be able to be resistant to the antibiotics and that is antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance can be of several types. What we are worried about in the present scenario is multi-drug resistance or MDR as it is called. That is when the bacteria are resistant to at least three groups of antibiotics. Then you have XDR which is extensive drug resistance. That means that particular bacteria will respond only to one particular antibiotic and is resistant to every other antibiotic. And then the worst case scenario is pan drug resistance or PDR where the bacteria is resistant to every antibiotic known to humankind. Superbugs are the pan drug resistant and the bugs are otherwise is a group of drugs which are very cleverly developing antibiotic resistance and these are, these are called the escape bugs. There's this E stands for every E stands for Enterobacteria C, T for S for Staphylococcus, K for Klebsiella, um, A for Acinetobacter, P for Pseudomonas, and E for Enterococcus. These are the different groups of antibiotics. Uh, so these are called escape bugs, and these are the superbugs. See what happens is more you take the antibiotics more the bacteria develop mechanisms to be resistant to those antibiotics. Now in India particularly, people get over the counter antibiotics or they self prescribe. Your chemist, you go to the chemist, tell him you got some symptoms, the chemist will prescribe some antibiotics. And so you pop in the pills. More you are exposed to the antibiotics, more the bacteria will learn how to get resistance, develop resistance to the antibiotics. So this sort of a self-medication of antibiotics an easy availability of over-the-counter antibiotics is leading to this severe problem in India. See, what happens is, it has been found in multiple studies that any delay in appropriate antibiotic administration of hospitalized patients will increase the mortality. That, that means, you more the delay in the right antibiotic, more the chances of dying. Not only that, if the patient is resistant to the antibiotics, you are going to give, administer intravenous high-end antibiotics which are very expensive and for which the patient will have to be hospitalized uh, just for the administration of antibiotics. So expenses added to the thing, mortality, that means the death rate is increased and stay in the hospital will be increased. The so morbidity is also significantly increased. Not only that, because of the drug de resistance developing in antibiotics, the whole environment becomes full of multi-drug resistance. That means your sewage is full of bugs. Your drinking water becomes full of uh, resistant bugs. So therefore, antibiotic resistance, which was only in hospitalized patients earlier, now in India, we are seeing it in community. That means patients coming from home will be uh, harboring multi-drug resistant antibugs. Well, because older people are more immunocompromised, uh, they may have a higher possibility of getting multi-drug resistant um, bugs, but also previous administration of antibiotics is a risk factor for in the last three months is a risk factor for development of multi-drug resistant organisms. Well, first of all, do not self-administer, do not self-medicate, do not let Dr. Google treat you. You must go to a doctor if you need to take an antibiotic and let that be doctor's call. Because many times there are certain allergic disorders, there are certain viral infections, we may not require any antibiotics at all. So avoid unnecessary self-administration of antibiotics. Also as a community, see a lot of this poultry farming and all, they use high-end antibiotics to fatten up the chickens. So that leads to development of resistance in the community. So the government also and we also must insist on not administering those antibiotics to the poultry. It is rampant in India. It is more so in the smaller towns, nursing homes, um, 
and uh, uh, GP practice. But yes, tertiary care hospitals have an increasing number of antibiotic resistance and it is a matter of serious concern in a developing country like India. It's a resource crunch. It leads to people dying more often. It leads to people not being able to go to their work earlier.